Hey guys, welcome back to the Cozy Cabin. Back again for another week of fun. Beautiful day. It's uh, it November the 4th today? Chilly now, right now. It's probably about 3 4 degrees. But this whole uh, rest of this week, it's supposed to be plus 13, plus 18, plus 16, so pretty uh, pretty crazy for, for November. So today, today is countertop day in New Sink. I'm going to rip out the existing countertop and get rid of the single basin sink and install a double basin sink. Uh, should be uh, should be a lot of fun. Hopefully it goes smoothly, and hopefully I have all the bits and pieces I need to get that stuff done. Because if uh, I don't, I'm gonna have to run into town, which is gonna waste time. So I'm hoping I bought everything that I will need, and everything will go smoothly. I will try and make some videos of that, just to show you guys progress as I move along uh, yeah what else uh, I, I got the lumber for for a bed so I might do that tomorrow actually or if not tomorrow then Friday um, start cutting the uh, the lumber to to size and working on on a new bed frame so yeah it's gonna be a, a busy few days but Looks like the weather will be cooperating, so it's good because I'm going to do most of the cutting outside just so I don't make a mess uh, inside of the cabin. And yeah, that's it. So follow along, stay tuned, and hopefully, uh, hopefully everything works out well. All right, let's get to work. Here's the before. So, first thing we need to do is make sure that these water shot offs actually work. sinks out so now I just gotta cut this as you guys can see it's not all that well attached <laughs> not attached at all Amazing. So much for the old countertop. That was easy. Gone. Of course, the countertop is too long, so gotta make it. Oops. Gotta make it. Where is that stupid thing? Gotta make it shorter. Let's hope this works.
So we've got the countertop installed. It was fairly straightforward. And I got the, if you can see that, got the hole marked out for where I'm gonna cut it out for the sink. And yeah, a little nervous, but so far it looks pretty good. And I cut out that hole, fingers crossed. the moment of truth could be really good or it could be really bad pretty good it's even centered nice I just got to drill some holes screw this bad boy down and then redo the plumbing the drain pipe and uh, we're back in business. Ta-da! Finished product. Look how nice that looks. Yeehaw. And here, <clears throat> redone plumbing. flashlight um, yeah so it's done nothing leaks everything works I did have to go into town though I was an elbow short so that wasted a good hour and a half but it is what it is but we do have a brand new double basin sink great for doing dishes
making some progress on the bed. Got the frame assembled, all the wood. I don't feel much because it wasn't that exciting, but getting near the end. This bed's solid. So looking forward to sleeping on this tonight. Just got to finish up a few little things and then we're good to go. Well, a week has gone by pretty quick, and it's time to head home. Got some stuff done, got the bed done, uh, did cut that tree finally. I was uh, in a bit of a rush, so I forgot to film it. Um, but there were a few, a few images that we caught on the trail cam so I'll add those to the video it's been a beautiful beautiful few days like 20 degrees sunshine um, even now it's um, it's cloudy but it's not cold it's probably about 14 degrees but time to go home uh, for a few days do some laundry Take care of some stuff back home and uh, we'll be back in a week for uh, another week's stay. It's not going to be as nice as, uh, as it was the past few days. Um, I think the day we're coming back, it's actually supposed to snow. <laughs> so I got to throw snow tires on the truck just in case. Um, it is November after all, so... The plus two, plus three degree weather is more more norm. I was actually uh, doing some work yesterday, and black flies came out, probably all confused. Um, of course, they managed to bite me. So I got two welts on my arm. Little buggers. Too early. So... Yeah, thanks for following along. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, when we're up here, there's definitely going to be uh, more videos coming. Um, I'm not quite sure yet what we'll be doing. I was thinking of possibly relocating the uh, inverter and all the solar stuff, including the batteries, into our back room uh, here behind me. So... I'm still kind of on the fence because it will be uh, quite a bit of work. I'll have to rewire a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but as I mentioned in the previous video, the <clears throat> the floor in that room is um, it's kind of rotted out. So it has to be replaced. I'm just debating whether or not that's a project for now or I should leave that for the spring. Um, of course, with the coronavirus and all that stuff, the price of lumber is just crazy. Uh, not only there's shortage of lumber and and anything wood, any any wood materials, um, but yeah, like the the price just doubled. I bought some two by fours at uh, Home Depot the other day. Normally, two by fours here in Canada sell for about three bucks a pop. They're like seven dollars now. <laughs> which is insane. Um, likewise, I had to get some uh, plywood for uh, the bed, and that too was just like almost double in price. They actually didn't even have the plywood that I needed, so I ended up buying OSB. Um, and it's like 7 sixteenths, and they were 35 bucks a sheet, where I think normally they sell for about $20 or, or even less. So uh, I will need to ponder that some more over the next few days to see if if uh, doing this relocate of 
of the solar stuff makes sense to do now. So, yeah, time to go home. Um, hunting season is on right now, so a lot of people hunting for deer. Uh, so there's been a lot of gunshots and uh, hunters kind of driving by. So it's been uh, it's been pretty busy up here actually, um, but I, I think by by our next visit it, it should quiet down. Uh, I think it ends in first week of December, so it's coming to an end. Uh, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, and more videos are coming. Hope everyone's doing well and uh, staying safe. And I will see you guys again at the cozy cabin. Take care.